In this video, I'll show you how to get pure iron powder from oxygen absorbers or hand warmers. These are hand warmers and this is oxygen absorber, but it won't affect. And just for obvious reasons, please wear gloves. Okay, so let's measure it all out. And as you can see here, we have a total of 40 grams. I then transferred all of the black powder into a mortar to crush it with a pestle. Because it might have been hard to tell, but on the second hand warmer, it actually started to clump up. I also put on some goggles and a respirator during this process because of all the dust coming off. After I felt like I crushed as much as I needed to, I put it through a little filter that I made. Here you can see the few specks that remained. You could crush this up more, but I just decided to go on with the experiment. With that being said, I transferred it all back into the original beaker. I realized that I shouldn't have done that, and I just laid it back out on the paper. And tried to spread it out the best I could. I then took a very strong neodymium magnet and put a plastic bag around it, and we wove it over so stuff could touch up any iron. And you'll be able to see quite a lot of iron is picked up. Okay, I simply just quickly fold that up, and all the stuff comes off in the end. And here is our iron powder. But I'm not done yet. After the magnet, you have made some rather impure iron powder. As you can see, there is still this shiny gold-colored stuff. But I do not know what that is. I laid it out one last time and did the magnet over again. After doing this, I got somewhat higher purity. Ugh, and of course, you always have to clean up your work area. So, I started out with 41 grams, and correct me if I'm wrong, but we ended with 27 grams. Well, 20, 29 grams actually, but I took away two because of some of the impurities. Um... And if I did my math right, I think we had a 66% yield. Here you can see I'll empty a vial of pre-existing iron I had. And I'm going to transfer it into an even bigger vial because this won't hold it all. So you can just simply do this one last time. And I simply just pour it into a bigger vials made for storing medicine. And it's all the way full.